Hey everybody, this is Keith Gleason from Indie Comics Relay and creator of the Mighty Mascots, back with another lettering tip video. Um, as you can see on the screen, our word balloon today is going to be featuring uh, Mighty Mascots number four will be part of the Alterna Comics pre-orders fall 2021 Indiegogo campaign. Um, the signups uh, for this campaign are live now if you want to check them out. Um, it's uh, basically Alterna Comics is moving. They used to do a subscription program um, to get your new books. Um, instead, they're going to be doing uh, seasonal releases. So it's, I, I think it'll be about two months worth of books. And it's gonna they're going to do all the releases through indiegogo and then if you miss the campaign um the books will be on this the alterna access site later on after the the backers get all their books first but you could go and sign up here um this will be launching uh, i believe in uh september late september um and it's gonna have 10 issues in it including da 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 mighty mascots number four um, here's a picture of it right here, the cover. Um, so yeah, if you missed my campaign for the Mighty Mascots issues, um, you could go here, sign up, and you'll be able to get number four when this campaign launches. And I believe five will be in uh, the winter one, and then six will be probably in the spring one, I believe. So yeah, so check that out. All right, enough of the plugs. Let's get to the lettering video today. <laughs> So I thought today's um, lettering is this will be kind of a quick one because it's not a hard lesson. Um, it's actually very easy to do in Illustrator, but I thought I would show you guys how to do um, a word balloon uh, where one of the characters uh, may be whispering something to another character. And um, usually how they do that in comics is the, is the lines you know, around the word balloon will have, will have, will be dashed, you know, with like a, a, a space in between. So what I'd like to do, so I already set up the balloon here. Um, I probably could, uh, you know, pull out the edges a little bit just to make it a little more organic, a little more nicer to look at, you know, just one of those little things that just help what lettering uh, get a little bit, um, you know, rather than it looks just like a perfect oval, you know? Um, so what I'll do is I, I set up a page. This is a page actually from Mighty Mascots number four. It's the opening page with Honey Flakes um, and his ship and with his, uh, you know, basically with his crew. Um, so I was going to just maybe stick to it. This obviously is not the dialogue from the comic, which I've said in the past. <laughs> um, so I was going to put this one like right here um, to, to show that. Honey Flakes is saying uh, this, but he's whispering to Honey Lad here and Honey Dog, which are two of the new characters introduced in the storyline. Um, and I just, I'm going to make uh, the tail here real quick just to show that uh, Honey Flakes, it's pointing to his mouth and that he is saying this. So we'll just put a little there, get the point. We group it, and then we also do the other side, and then we go right here and kind of shape it to the 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 other side of the tail. And then you can join them up, and then you line around those out, and then you just want to go down to here real close and put the tail together so it looks pretty organic, and then do some straightening here if you have to. All right, there we go. So we have the, the balloon pretty much laid out where we want it. Um, so real easy to do a whispering balloon. You just select the balloon. You go over here into the stroke. Let me go closer here. I don't actually, I don't think you can get closer on this. Um, so you go to the stroke uh, options on um, Illustrator. And then down here, there's a thing that says dashed line. So if you click that and you basically just put um five points in here which is that's my standard one and that's it uh and this is what you get it's already it, it does it for you 
you don't have to go in and do any kind of special thing. I've seen some people go behind the balloon with like a little bit of white to kind of pop out a little bit. Um, honestly, I don't think that's necessary, but you, you can do that. Um, also, I, you know, sometimes you'll see um, with uh, when somebody's whispering, sometimes uh, the letterer, and I, I do this too sometimes, but you could, um, so I usually letter in a standard 10 point size with, you know, eight lead between the, se the sentences. Um, sometimes, you know, if they're whispering, sometimes you may want to drop the font size so that it actually gives the illusion of, you know, he's talking lightly. So, but what I mean by that, so let's say we just drop this down to like eight point and then we change this to six. And then you move this down into the center of the balloon because the font is smaller. It gives that illusion like he is actually whispering it. Um, you know, whereas if you use the proper size, it looks more of like a conversational tone. And then usually you use bold and like outlines to like make it more like a screaming or a yelling, you know, or somebody or the characters raising their voice. So it's just one of those things that helps gives that that little little bit of illusion um but yeah that's pretty much it everybody uh that one's easy so stroke and dashed lines and then you could play with it i think five point looks perfect but i mean you could go you could go seven points let's take a look at what that looks like that's a little more like the lines are there that might that might be okay too um but yeah you know and then you can make the gaps bigger too, if you want to, you know, and you can do this whole row if you want, you could do all kinds of different sizes, but I'd say anywhere between five and seven points is probably going to be your best bet. All right, guys. Um, that's it for this, uh, comic book lesson, uh, for, for lettering. Um, I hope to be back doing more of these. I know I'm launching into a pretty crazy, uh, con schedule coming up, uh, mid September, I, I think I'm going to be at a convention almost every weekend up until mid-October. So it's almost like a month worth of convention. It's going to be nuts. Um, make it up for lost time, I guess, you know, for the last year and a half. But I'm also, I'm trying to, uh, you know, be a little more out there, try to get a little more work. You know, I'd like to drop down, you know, to part-time on my day job and then start working more with comic books on the side. So hopefully I can make that happen and make that work. But um, all right, enough about me. Um, you guys have a great week. We'll be back live on Wednesday with this week's guest, Adam Gagnon. Check that out. And as always, subscribe to the channel, share these, uh, share. There's a whole playlist of um, word balloon techniques um, and lettering techniques on the channel. So if you want, you know, there's like six or seven other les lessons before this one. So check that out. Um, share, you know, like, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. All right, everybody. Have a great week, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.